Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. Uh, we got another one. This is going to be uh, a little short notice. Uh, we're doing the show. Uh, we're doing uh, the Antonio Moran uh, versus Ramiro Duno fight, which is actually later today on Showbox. I uh, wanted to get this out because I looked at the odds. And I, I think we can make a little bit of money on this fight. Uh, but before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. We are absolutely killing it this year. We're 11 and 2 so far this year. We're making money every single week. I'm showing you how to bring down the house. The, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I know how to handicap the sport. I'm going to consistently show you how to make money on the sport of boxing. And that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, we're making money every single week. Uh, and this is a good opportunity here. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Please also subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description. You get all types of cool perks. You're going to get the uh, free t-shirt. You get the lock of the week, which I will send out today. I mean, tomorrow, uh, you get the lock of the week. You can re request I handicap a fight. You can do a whole bunch of stuff, a, a ton of perks for just $5 a month. Uh, you can let you join me join me if you want to on a live stream as well. Uh, please follow me all forms uh, of social media and subscribe to the Patreon. Let's get into tonight's fight. Um, that is Antonio Moran versus Ramiro Dino. I'm a big Moran guy. He's a good fighter. Uh, he's got wins over two Texans that I like, that I respect Michael Dutch over and Kendall Tremendo Castaneda. Um, you know, I consider him a B level fighter, you know, and I, I say that in, in all respect. I, I don't think Dino is a B level fighter, which I'm gonna show you my hand who I think wins this fight. Uh, but Moran has a high IQ, he's tall, he's rangy, he uses his range, he's 5'11 and he's long. Um, you know, he's got a little bit of pop, it doesn't look like he does, but you can tell that he does. He stops people, he stops people with body shots. He's he's pretty good. Uh, he keeps the, the punches flowing really well. He keeps Johnny outside. He controls range, and, and this is how he wins fights. He controls range, and when he fights a guy like Devin Haney, yeah, he can't control the range of a, of a guy that fast and athletic and, and crafty. But anyone else, other fighters, like lower-level fighters in Devin Haney, which is just about everyone in the sport, it's gonna, he's going to have some success with. Like I said, he uses his reach and size extremely well. He works behind his jab. He sets everything up off the jab. He mixes in the right hand, the hook to the body, hook to the body, the right hand to the body. Yo, he likes to control the range. He likes to fight at long range. If he can keep Dino at long range, who is not a jabber, who is not a slick mover, I, which I think he can. He can tee off on. And the question becomes, can Dino last the distance? He's got a good, snappy jab. And, is you know, he uses his feet well. He turns. He pivots. He plays with distance as well. He keeps you at the ends of, of his punches at an extremely high level. You know, it's just you know he's kind of slow. He doesn't have next world athleticism. So when he fights guys at the highest, I mean at the highest level, he's always going to come up short. Always going to come up short. He doesn't have the natural gifts, right? But he's he, he, he just took someone his size, his his height, his reach, his weight, and said, "Here, here's how to box." He's good. He's fundamentally really good. He just lacks the next level ability, which is why he constantly falls short. Fortunately for him, Ramiro Duno is not that dude. I, I, I'm not a, a, you know, he's slow and flat-footed to know. He's got this wide base and wide punch that he doesn't throw things straight. He doesn't jab enough. He gets sloppy and wild. Terrible footwork, and he's easy to counter. I mean, he comes in, he leaves himself wide open when he when he's throwing his, his lead hooks and, and things like that. I, I just let one of the jab, move his head off, I work his way in, right? Like, you know, to use a baseball analogy, go station to station. Those don't, you know, load up for a home run. And he loads up for a home run instead of trying to move runners along the base, uh, you know, move runners on the base path. He, he tries to – he relies on his power way too much, and he doesn't set it up. He just – you know, he throws aggressive, and he throws hard, and he's a fun fighter. He's just not that good. He, I guess he's so easy to counter in time. He's not a difficult fighter at all uh, to, to – control i i don't see how moran doesn't control him at the jab you know he's gonna have you know he's gonna have a punch of chance but i don't think his power is next level i don't think it's incredible it's a good pop i don't think it's 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 it's, it's all worldly if you just keep him on the outside and move you got him and and that's what moran can do you know moran's done it with better fighters like i said like kendall castaneda who's taller and stronger and he was able to control him um you know dino can fight well off the ropes 
That's not a problem for him. He's good on the inside. He's getting to the inside. He he blocks punches with his face. He's slow, stationary a lot of times, you know, and he's he's not he's looking, you know, he'll take shots to get inside, and it's just not a good look. And I, I don't see him performing particularly well in this fight. Let's go to um let's pull up the tape. I mean, let's let's pull up the odds. Let's show you how to make money on this fight. I got the wrong one pulled up. All right, hang on. Hang on. Let me get the right fight pulled up. It is. These odds have actually moved in our favor a little bit. They were minus 380s, minus 360. All right, so I would do – I'm really confident in Moran. I would do a two-times bet on Moran. Two-times bet on Moran is going to make you 55-55 and a one-times bet on the over. I'm not that confident in the over, um, and, and, and that's a good bet. Right, if it doesn't go over eight and a half, which I think it will, because Duno is tough as nails, but he gets hit a lot. And when you see him get iced, he gets iced. Not, you know, he he gets knocked out, knocked out. Um, I do think it goes the distance, so that would make us sixty-two and fifty-five. Seven. Eight. Hundred and eighteen dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. It's not terrible. It's gonna help us with the odds. Uh, we need him to hit the hit the over eight and a half. If he does hit the over eight and a half, we lose forty four dollars on his bet. It's not the end of the world. I think it's worth it. Right upside one hundred eighteen dollars, downside is forty four. I don't think there's much risk at all in picking Moran to win this fight. Um, if you want to just you know put the extra hundred dollars on Moran, and, and and not take the gamble, it's not bad. You want to do a three times bet on him? I wouldn't do it. Makes you eighty three dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. It's not bad. I would split it up like that. Heads it a little bit, you know. Just make the money. We have another fight on this card that we can make money on. But I, I don't see how Moran doesn't win this fight. I really don't. I, I think Dano is so easy. He, he's so flat footed, and I think he's kind of tailor made for uh, Duran. Uh, for Moran, this is gonna this Dano and Moran. This is gonna give me a headache. Uh, twenty six and three, twenty knockouts for Dano. I expect that to go 26 and 4. Uh off, off Morant's skill, IQ, his jab, his ability to use his range, control distance, control the pace, control the tempo. He's got a good gas tank. Um, he's good. He, like I said, he's got decent pop. His pop's not bad. Uh probably know is the bigger hitter, though. But let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, we don't gamble, but if you do, I always use DraftKings. DraftKings gives you good odds. It's really User friendly, the interface it is really friendly to use, uh, but I don't gamble. But if you if you do, I'm gonna show you how to consistently make money, how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Let's bring down the house together. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, that's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Also, on the other, uh, my Patreon, please follow, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. It's just five dollars a month. You get the lock of the week. You get a free T-shirt. You get a a ton of stuff, a ton of perks. Uh, check it all out. That's our Patreon. The link is in the description. It is January 31st, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.